Yo, what's up guys? Jeff here, and got some Modern Warfare today. Playing the whole FFA, and I actually got a score I was pretty happy with. Like, <laughs> since, I think since the first time coming back from YouTube, I, I've got like a game plan. I'm like, yes, I'm happy with this. Because Azir Cave free-for-all is pretty slow and pretty hard and long. And like, you know, a lot of the maps in Modern Warfare are, you know, they're, they're different than what we're used to. Can I just put it that way? Um, but overall, I've really kind of turned the corner on Modern Warfare. Like, I was very, fairly critical at launch for a lot of reasons. And, you know, like the MP5, the M4, the 725 were like the best they've ever been for like an SMG, AR, and shotgun all at the same time. And, you know, Dead Silence didn't work. And then, um, like, I mainly play Search and Destroy and Free For All, so I don't know about, like, the bad spawns and Piccadilly Domination and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's just, like, overall, like, the maps are being whack. And, and you know, um, you know, like, a lot of safe spaces and fast time to kill. And, and there, you know, like, the big criticism was Dead Silence isn't a perk, but I think that's fine. Like, the whole, you know, you get a kill, it refreshes every 20 seconds. That's fine, dude. That's pretty skill-based. And, like, I fuck with that, honestly. Um... But yeah, I like stopping power rounds too, and on certain guns, it's really good. And um, I, I think the new SMG that just came out, it has the option to do these hollow point rounds, and then you you know, you know stack that with stopping power, and you got a fucking gun. And apparently this new SMG has a really fast rate of fire too. Like, I haven't really used it. I think I picked it up once in Warzone and, like, beamed a kid, and I'm like, holy shit, this thing's good. And it had, like, a three times too. Like, you know, it was not a close quarter scope. So... Definitely want to try that more. Um, like, I've got six guns I need to get Damascus. Or, um, excuse me, gold. And, um, like, oh, man. Like, I, I grinded Damascus pretty hard. You know, I did in, like, two, three weeks. And, and like, doing Damascus is a two-step thing. Like, the first step is getting all the guns to max level. And then the second step is doing all the challenges. And, um, yeah, the challenges are... You know, the long shots are, are pretty long and annoying. Like, I went to hardcore free-for-all, and I would sit in the back of maps, and, like, I had certain spots in every map. Like, Azir Cave is actually a great long shot slash mounted map. But, yeah, I would do the deployable cover, and I would sit in areas where I could get long shots, and then I get a mounted and a long shot at the same time. And, um, you know, you had to do that for a lot of guns. And then the launchers are obviously terrible, and the javelin, and, like, you had to play... I, I played a hard point crash i think to get the javelin defender kills done or something and like when i played there was no shim in 24 7 or rust and you know i think they have that more frequently now so it should be easier to get um but like this is the first call of duty where i legit think having damascus it just makes it more fun you know and like i i got this like fucking charm and stuff like i don't know that you can get anymore you had to buy some pizza rolls and um you know <laughs> sure i'll buy some pizza rolls why not at my local Rayleigh's. um but yeah, it was it was a good game, and uh, you know, Modern Warfare guys, like, yeah, I've just kind of changed my tune. Like, you know, Warzone is great as well, and I haven't even really played that much. And I want to get good at Warzone, but it, it's a very defensive and slow, like, it's a slow game, guys. What can I say? Like, I, I've had multiple situations where I know where a guy is, and the guy knows where I am, and we'll just like stare at each other for a minute, you know, or like he's around the corner, and we like each know where the other one is, is and. Uh, like, you know, in Fortnite, the meta is building, and in Modern Warfare BR, it, the meta is camping. Like, who's the better camper? Like, that's who's going to win. And, like, so many times when I die, it's because I was, like, too offensive. And I'm like, you know, if I just stayed back, like, patience is a virtue. And, you know, it's it's the play in this game. But um, I'm getting good again. It's just taking a little time. And, uh, like, you know, I was watching the PS5 reveal yesterday, and that was cool. Watched with Handler, just chilled in the party. Um, I think the biggest takeaways for me were that there was uh, the Black Spider-Man game, um, Skyrim, or no, no, excuse me, Hitman, and then uh, last but not least, of course, Resident Evil, and I think Resident Evil is just one of those series that is like near and dear to my heart, just like Call of Duty, and you know, Resident Evil 4, obviously, and then like even RE7 now, and like RE2 Remake, and there's just been some great games over the years, and like, there's not too many franchises have that, that have, like, lived that long and had that many games, you know? Like, Call of Duty and Resident Evil are kind of unique in that case. And, um, yeah, man, they, they just stand the test of time. And um, I didn't see the Resident Evil 7 trailer at the E3s a couple years back. But I guess the way they did the trailer was, like, you didn't know what was going on until the very end. And then they, like, name drop that it's Resident Evil. And you're like, oh, shit. And uh, that's what they did again for this game, Resident Evil Village. And, like... The opening of the trailer says something like, this adventure will be his last or something. And you're like, what? And, and then you realize it's about Chris. And, you know, like, Wester, Wesker actually had an ending to his character. So, you know, this this could really be the end for Chris. Like, no clickbait. And uh, that could be interesting. And, um, yeah, man, like, 
the whole PlayStation event was pretty sick. You know, there's a lot of games for a lot of different types of people, and, you know, not all of it was for me, but there were some other cool-looking indie games I saw as well, too. Like, I used to have a Nintendo Wii back in the day, and the whole WiiWare thing, and, like, downloading indie games and stuff, and, like... You know, I, 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 you know, I fuck with it. Like, not everyone can be super, like, big AAA developers. And, like, you know, you know, the, like, the little guys matter, too, is my point. And, um, you know, like, if they do well and the games are really that good, then they'll blow up and become big. Like, that uh, Doki Doki literature thing, you know, a couple of years back. So, like, um, I don't know. Anything's possible, man. Life is crazy. Mm. And, um, yeah, guys, that's about it for the gameplay. It should be winding down here. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, uh got the nuke in modern warfare 2 and 3 and you know go was ghost 30 i think ghost was 25 as well so i got a nuke in like three out of four infinity ward games but uh not in this game but it was still pretty fun and i um, gonna try and use the dlc weapons more and yeah guys i'm a, uh, am uh you know commentaries for me you know you never know what to expect it's just like kind of what whatever is on the top of my mind and uh you know i do want to get more into doing these more frequently and and like i really enjoy talking to you guys as well and you know i just i just fucking do my thing and that's that's pretty much it but yeah guys um i can't wait for the ps5 i think that they didn't show the price on purpose because if they'd shown the price at the very end like that's all the pr would have been you know so they were smart to not show it now but my guess is like seven or eight hundred dollars you know i think nine hundred dollars is pushing it but we'll see and yeah, if you guys have any thoughts or comments or speculation on pricing or anything like that, like let me know. I'm like genuinely curious. And I'll probably end up getting a PS5 just because that's where Call of Duty is going to go. Like I have a hunch that Sony and um, Activision kind of like you know renewed their deal to uh, keep like some exclusive stuff on PlayStation. And you know, like I don't think Microsoft should have ever let that deal go in 2014, but that's what happened. And like because of that, you know, now I'm on PlayStation and Call of Duty and. You know, it, it, you know, I'm kind of happy that the whole idea of consoles are still alive in the year 2020. Because, like, so many people go PC, guys. Like, even now, like, I know, you know, console friends that are now playing on PC and they just use a controller for Modern Warfare. And, like, there's legit advantages to the PC, okay? You know, you have better frame rate, higher FOV, and, like, you know, obviously the keyboard and mouse. And, like, at the highest level, that that is insanely difficult to beat at a high level now like i will say up close because of uh like if you're in a you know close quarters engagement auto aim is very good in that sense but like when you get like you know further range where you don't get the auto aim on controller um like pc just beams straight up like you can beam people across the map so accurately and like i've played really good streamer kids and i've killed them before and like they've killed me and like they're all on pc and they'll have like you know seven eight thousand viewers and you know that's cool and sick and it's fun to play like good players and like if you want to find tryhards just get on warzone solos in the middle of the night like that is a good time and um yeah like i really want to get better at that because like here's the thing guys like i've been playing call of duty search and destroy for um geez i don't know like 10 12 years at this point right and i've only been playing call of duty brs since 2018 so like one feels way more fresh and new to me and like way less experienced and like of course i want to fucking play that and it's more of a challenge. Like, I view COD BRs as a combination of Search and Destroy and Free For All. And those happen to be my two favorite modes, you know? Like, Free For All for obvious reasons. And then S and D and the fact that you only get, like, one or two lives and you got to play really tactical. So, yeah, man, I just love it. And I uh, want to get better at that. And I, I still enjoy regular multiplayer. And then, you know, I got zombies to think about. And um, uh, this guy, Tim Hansen, he's got a really great channel. Uh, he wants to reach out and do something with me. So I, I got to try and do that, too. And... You know, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good night, y'all. And uh, see you in the next one.